You can only sleep at night and during thunderstorms. Hmm. Why am I doing this? Because I'm the only one on right now. It's an early morning Minecraft. And the monkeys are upstairs getting ready for their camp. And making a huge mess. And I would like to sleep. Um, and I can't tell what time of day it is. <laughs> because it's raining. So as far as I'm concerned, as far as I know... It could be, you know, dawn right now. I don't have a clock. Hey, let's make a clock. The plan for today is to work on... Well, I'm not going to tell you what the plan is until it's daytime and we're outside working. I'm just doing a few odds and ends with the kill time. And I thought I might as well hit the record button now. <laughs> while we're recording, or while we're killing time. And my voice is still waking up. So, this is our project today. Can you tell by looking in this? Or a shulker box, what our project is. I'll give you a hint. What else in our base? What's the only other thing in our base that has purple? Can you think of it? That's what we're doing today. You'll see. Purple block, by the way, I didn't have any, so I just cooked up a whole bunch of coarse fruit, which becomes popped coarse fruit, which you can then turn into. Do I have any left to show you? Yeah, you cook coarse fruit, becomes pop coarse fruit, then you get turned into purple block. Just four of those for one block. Just in case you didn't know, that seems to be a little known fact that isn't that rare. But that's our project for today. Um, just killing time, which I don't know why, because that means this video is going to end up being really long, because our project is going to take a long time. I just wanted to um, mess around a little bit. What else was I going to do while we were waiting? I already forgot. Oh yeah, we're going to make a clock, so I know what time of day it is. I don't remember how to make a clock, though. Or four golden redstone. Well, that's easy peasy. Let me go over here and do... Let's see, I've never made a clock in Minecraft ever in my life. I've never needed to. But because I start every login session underground, it would be nice to know what time of day it is. Especially when I'm alone. So let's make an item frame here. I think we can do that. Hope this doesn't become a two-part episode for what we're going to do with all this extra stuff, but that's okay. Man, my voice sounds terrible, doesn't it? Oh, well. Oh my gosh, do you think I could remember how to make an item frame? There. Okay. Where should we put our clock? So I can see what time it is. So we put it right up here. Um, actually, we should put it over here. Kind of want to put it right there. All right? Can I do that? I can't put that in an item frame. There you go. Oh, it's almost nighttime. And we can sleep. Excellent. That does work, right? Is that actually, oh, well, we have 20 minute days, so it's barely going to move. Actually, that means we probably have quite a bit of time, huh? I'm watching the pixels. Yeah, we got quite a bit of time. Well, I'm not going to waste your time, so I'm just going to hang out until it is time to sleep, and then I will sleep. Hopefully no one else joins me, because then I can sleep. Um, and then we'll start a day of fret, a day anew to work on a project. And I'm just going to stare. Oh, look at that. That's how it moves. Okay. I'll be back in a moment, and we'll continue. Okay, so I just slept, and I don't know why it's going back and forth. But anyway, so it seems like when this dark line is one off to the left, you can sleep. I'm going to remember that now. So I can always look up and be like, hey, it's time to sleep. All right, so what is it that we are doing today? Today, we're going to build the restrooms at phase two in the um, truce area. The restrooms. The Lorene, the Lorene, the Latrine, the Loo, the Toilet, the Crapper, um, the place where you can drop the kids off at the pool. Uh, what other names can I come up with here? Um, I was going to look up synonyms and I didn't. Also, we are using shaders again, but we're not using the shaders we used to use. We are using Silder's Enhanced Default. So just a little bit of shader, a little bit of shadow, trees move, water moves, you can still see in the dark, I did a test in pitch black, you can see just fine. At night, you can see just fine. 
the lighting is amazing and i saw this because my well my, one of my favorite minecraft youtubers xp crafted was using them in his single player world and i'm like dude what are you using because i knew it was like a light type of shader or something so my all-time favorite though Seus, they just don't work in 113 because glass becomes water and things are broken and it's so dark you can't even see at night look at that that's a good shot and then um i was using silder's vibrant which were great but again you can't see at night and it was super yellow even though i turned down the yellow myself and fixed it a little bit it still was pretty bad so i wasn't using shaders for a while but i missed them terribly but then i found these and they look gorgeous and you can still see at night you can still see in the caves but it just looks awesome the only weird thing is at dusk you get a black stripe around the horizon where it's hazy but whatever so anyway how awesome do these look i am so excited all right so i just want to check out the hot springs before we get going look at that is that awesome looks so tumultuous oh my gosh i might you know what i think i have to get rid of these fart bubbles they're really getting in my way i just want to enjoy stuff like this but then all the effects bubbles get in the way anyway okay let's get over here to i actually had to go tend to the to my little rascals upstairs so i had to sleep again so it's morning or dawn all right so we need to get a path back here the restrooms what's going to happen is it's going to be like a seating area outside you know and you have to wait for your partners or children you need to sit and then we'll go in here right here but then we'll turn a corner i have it all planned out we'll see how it goes according to plan i did not practice in creative i don't think i needed to oh my gosh it's just nice to have these effects but i just don't like the bubbles um is a two-way path enough no we need three all right and like usual we're going to do some detail stuff like replacing stone with dirt just want to make sure we get all that covered because again you don't notice the details when they're right but if there's something missing then you definitely notice so by not noticing that is a good thing there we go hopefully that changes let's light this up for right now we are going to um definitely have lamps here so that'll be the path and let me let me dig out the seating area here okay so it looks like we're getting somewhere i also got the idea to have a stairway going up the back so that we can um we can should I put this right there uh no let's not put that there let's put it right here i want to have a stairway going up the back as well but i don't think it brought enough what i bring any stairs wait a second oh that's because in the other shocker box doc on it all right there we go um oak stairs these stairs okay there we go so I think I'm going to work on the stairways and then I'll work on the restrooms. Let's see. I wanted to... Ooh, hang on. That's not going to work. We need to go double... Dumb. Okay. This works, I think. Yeah. That works. Alrighty. How can I... Actually, no. We're going to get rid of this too. Except we need that. There we go. And then we'll put our thing in there. There we go. That'll work. Boom, 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 boom. All right, so we need a slab. Did I bring these slabs? Yeah, we need just one, I think, to stick in here. There we go. I kind of want to slab more of this um, up here, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to slab that one, and then we should be good to go. Okay, there we go. The stairs are going up or done. We'll have a lamp or two. Maybe even a little sign that says restrooms this way. Okay, so this, this will be our path going up here. Let me get this. Since we've done so many paths together already, I'm just going to quickly do this path myself. And once again, working out all of the details. There we go. Good. So aside from... Oops, it's going to be dark again already. Holy cow. Aside from lamps, which we're going to put in a bunch of lamps eventually... Wow, look how nice that sunset is with these shaders. That's awesome. 
So aside from lamps, which we'll figure out in a moment, remember no torches allowed in this section of the base. This path is done, and eventually we'll connect to this after we put in a seating area. So I'm going to sleep quick since I'm alone. I'll be right back to keep working. And it's another beautiful sunrise over the ocean. I love the sparkling water. I don't like the fart bubbles, but whatever. All right, we'll do the lamps last. I want to keep working here, so we'll fix this up after we work on our seating area. So let me get rid of some stuff we don't need. I don't believe we need these at the moment. We will need all that water, though, believe it or not, for something. Um, what do we need to do? We need all of this stuff. And probably a crafting table. Let's put that down there. We don't need the course. Yeah, we will need the course chair, won't we? Um, okay, so what this is going to be. First of all, let's do the outline of it. So it's going to be separated restrooms. I was going to do like that gender inclusive restroom thing, but I'm just like, you know what? We're just going to go men and women. <laughs> what? We only have one of those? How do you make more of these? Is it... No, you have to do slabs, I think, right? Like this, and then you make them? There we go. Oh, that looks cool. Again, these textures you're looking at, what I did is I took the default, I just made it high resolution by painstakingly redrawing every pixel. Yes, I did, every pixel. It was, it was a lot of work, but it's worth it, because look how awesome they look. All right. That's going to be the outside, which means I need a dirt here because that's going to drive me crazy. Come on. You can do it. Okay, so... Um, I think... See, this is going to be a seating area. This I want to be... How do I want? Do I want to be like that? There? I think I do. And then, do I want another row on top? Hmm... No, I don't need another row on top. Okay. Since that's going to be the seating area, I don't think we need anything special under it. All right. So there's your seating area. So when you're waiting for people, you come sit down. Um, this is going to be a lamp, I think. So let's just get that in here right now. I did bring grass blocks. I can change these over to path if I need to. Um... We'll see here. All right. What else can I do on the outside? All right. I also decided to try this neat little um, upside down step thing. To give it some texture. I think that worked. Yeah, I got to do something with this, though. I wish I could do sideways stairs. I've been trying to figure out how to do that. And I can't figure it out. Um, I can always do... I don't know. This I feel like this needs something here. I just can't figure out what it is yet. Okay, I guess simply adding a block up there helped. I certainly feel like this needs something. Maybe just step it back so there's a gap there. Um, yeah, that might actually be it. There, I added some 3D dimension on the sides, and that really helped a lot. And we can still keep our little space here. Perfect. Is this sun almost going to go down already? Oh, I spent like I spent over an hour getting the outside of the bathroom lined up. What the heck is going on with me? Um, this, I feel, should be something, though. There we go. Yeah, that looks good. So this will be stuff like that. Boom. Ta-da. There. I think I have the outside of the restroom done. Maybe. I don't know. I could keep going forever and ever. That's terrible. That has to go away. Okay. There we go. That, I think, are all the corners and details. Yeah. There we go. Down and up. Both ways on the path are done. And here's our little restroom area. Again, we will put lamps in all over the place. We're going to put a lamp over there. Yeah, lamps everywhere, which will do last, I think. So that's the outside. Now I just need to work on the inside. I'm getting some more ideas here. I better stop while I'm ahead. Nope, I can't stop. I can never stop. Okay, so here we go. So I'm going to dig out the inside and I'm going to explain to you. Whoops. 
what all these pieces are for because we're going to use every single thing you see here so wish me luck all right just putting in some final touches here so what's going to happen this is going to be the men's room because it's smaller the woman's room is going to be much 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 bigger because it's going to be modern is going to accommodate holy cow it's nighttime already and i can't sleep because papa don is on and he's not he's doing something afk or i don't know what he's doing I was trying to chat with him and he wasn't responding. So Papa Don's busy, which is fine, but that means I can't sleep. I keep running my pop filter in my microphone. Sorry about that. Oh gosh, and I want to do more up here with the restroom, like make this whole thing purple, make it look super huge. Oh gosh, I got to stop thinking. Anyway, um, we also need to light this up temporarily. Wow, it's dark. Okay, so we come in here. Boom, boom, boom. This is going to be three stalls. And this is going to be the trough urinal. If you've ever been to an older restroom, um, that's going to be a trough. Awesome. There we go. Making more coffee. Awesome. <laughs> that's funny. So we're going to work on that now. I just want to get the bases done off camera because it took me like 45 minutes to dig out and decide. We have stairs on the ceiling to make it uneven on purpose. We got glowstone for lighting. Um, and we have a long way here, and like I said, the woman's restroom is going to be gigantic. So let's, holy cow, um, let's clean this out a little bit here. Okay, we need one, two, three, we need one, two, three, we need one, two, three, we need one, we need one, two, and we need all of those, and we need a few of these. And... We're going to sign this as well. Do and do that. So I was trying to think like Freddie and Betty, him and her. I wanted to be a little more gender ambiguous. Couldn't figure it out. So we're going to go dudes and do that. So dudes. Dudes. And this will be do that, I think. Dudes. Okay. So now, we also have put in the flooring. Let's do some of this part together. I have a feeling this is going to be a really long video, but that's okay. I'm going to do our urinal trough, which I'm sorry. Whoops, I'm sorry. That's just, you know, that's the reality. <laughs> what? Come on. I'm doing this backwards. I did so many upside down stairs. Oh, no. Now we have a, Now we have problems. I'm just used to doing upside down stairs. I'm having difficulty. Um, there we go. This will be the flooring, I think, yeah. So I'm hoping this works. I've seen, whoops, others fill, there we go, that halfway. And I'm hoping I can get renewable resource out of it. There we go. There we go. There's your urinal trough. Oh, we missed something very important. First, I wanted to put my doodads. Will there be two T's in doodads? I got to think about that a second. All right, yeah. So I use Smurfette as an example, and Smurfette has two T's. So doodads would have two T's. And in for the line joined us. So anyway, have to come back here. We got a lot of work to do. Got to hurry up. Okay, where was I here? My work on call phone just rang, which is not ever supposed to ring. Really? I mean, it rings when I'm on call, but not supposed to call now so i'm very distracted so let me get back into the mode mode and mood here and let's get some flooring in oh yeah oh yeah that's super important thing i mentioned that's what we we're talking about super important thing we need a little flushers here for this um for that and then this whoops this is because this is one of those mirrors that you know it gets really old and you can't see anything. Have you ever been in a restroom like that where you have mirrors and you just can't see anything? That's what those are. These are the flushers for the urinal trough. And um, my children are home with some friends making a bunch of noise because they just got Super Mario Party. And we don't have enough controllers for everybody, which is why I am Minecrafting right now. Okay, there we go. Flooring is looking good. Let's just quick finish it. And the darkest light level is 11, so we're good. Okay, um, we don't need that either. Light level should be fine. Then goes outside. Yeah, 11, like I said. All right, so that's done, that's done, that's done. Ceiling floor is done. Now we have to do our stalls. 
And to do our stall, this should just be simply put in. Hang on, let's get some water here. Put, what well, we need water in there too. Put in some water. Oh my, somebody's screaming and fighting upstairs. Okay, put some water in there, and then I think we can put these on. Yep, and they can open it if you need to. Um, like, no one's ever going to know that, you know, there's water in there. But, I think we're going to have one where somebody left the lid up. Right? Then we need flushers. I don't know where the flushers are going to go, because I want to put doors on here, too. So maybe... I don't think we can put a door there now, can we? No. Um... Let's see, they have that open. We'll leave this door open. So I guess we're not going to have flushers. The toilets don't flush. The toilets do not flush. Um, and someone's in that one. Okay, no flushers. <laughs> That's fine. There we go. Stalls and a trough. Very tiny, but this is what these restrooms are like. I, I was at a racetrack once near Minneapolis, and oh my word. It's smaller than this, and you try to get a bunch of people in there, and um, yeah, it's nuts. So there is the dude's room, I think. We got everything for the dudes. Now we just need to put the dudette's room together. So I'm going to dig that out now and start. I'll do most of this stuff myself. Like, I'll do everything except the stalls, maybe myself. And then we will um, reconvene, and that'll be in an episode. So I got about an hour of work here to do. I'll catch you after the super fancy edit. So as I finish my ceiling, sometimes when I do this type of ceiling, I'll put solid blocks in there as well. But in this case, I just literally want um, just stairs only. So I'm trying to get it so it's not always a pattern, even though it seems to be here, doesn't it? Um, I'm trying to get it to be somewhat random. It's kind of working, kind of not. I'm going to keep clicking on the wrong spots. Oh, I don't think I'm going to have enough. I think I need to make more stairs. Keep going back and forth like that for that one. One stair left. How many more do I need? Three or four, I guess. Run right over here, and it's daytime now. Let's see how many more did I need. Four... Let's do eight anyway, like so. Then we'll quickly finish that off. Okay, so now it's the important part, getting the ones on the sides that get missed when you put a stair in there. So let's make sure I'm not missing any of these. Come on, there we go, another one. Another one, I already did that. I gotta do one here. There we go. Well, we got two in this case. Solid. Should have at least a few in every stall here. Just got to be careful and keep track where we are. Yep, see there's one hidden back there. Ta-da. I think that is it for the ceiling. Floor I already did. Lighting I already did. The lowest light level is eight, except there's one nine back here, I think. Yeah, because that's an extra depth. So now we're going to put in a counter. Let's have that ready to go. I wanted to put in a counter so it's upside down like that. And then we'll do a wash bin there. We'll fill it with water. Then we got one, two, three, four, just five stalls. I was going to do six, but it just ended up with five. So that's just how it's going to be. Whoops. Well, I'm trying to do this too quickly here. All right. Borrow some water from the men's room. Can I click? Can I pick water? No, we can't pick water. Bummer. Okay. So there we go. I think all the toilets have water in them. So now let's put lids on them. And we'll leave some up. I don't know why there'd ever be a lid up in the woman's room. Um, unless one of them had like a young boy with him or something. But um, yeah, I'm not sure why they'd be up. But some of them are. And there we go. It's kind of funny. Again, flushers won't work. Oh, that's going the wrong way. How did I miss that? Um, there. There you go. All the details. And then we're going to have some signs. Oh, those mirrors again, they can't really see. 
And then there's going to be the mysterious button that nobody knows what it's for. You know, you see that a lot too because there's probably a remodel and they left it. I guess those are soap dispensers. <laughs> awesome. Oh, no, that's not going to work. Okay, so I think that's it for the women's room. I think. Let me get my inventory back in place here just to make sure. I think that's it. How awesome. I'm so excited about this. Our restrooms are done. The dudettes. And then here's the dudes. <laughs> and then something else I did when you weren't looking is I did this. Looks kind of silly, but I wanted to do something. I couldn't help myself. Where did that one, oh, that one thing go that I missed right there? There we go. Did I miss any others? I don't think so. So I wanted to do something for the restroom, and there it is. So the last thing I need to do is get my lamps going and then organize all this stuff that I don't need here. Um, don't need more signs. Why do we have some? Oh, this is extra end stone. We don't need any of this. Okay, so lamps are in this one. And maybe we'll need some of this right now, too. But let's focus on the lamps. So, it's going to be dark soon. It should be dark soon. Then I can test my light level. So where do we want our first lamp? We want our first lamp to be... Right here, I think. I think that's what we want. I don't know for sure, but that's what I think we want. And it's always going to be on because it's under a tree. So do we want it flipped? We want it like this. Yeah, like that. But it's under a tree, so that's always going to be on. Which is fine. It's one of those broken lights where it's like, why is that light always on when it's not supposed to be? Because maintenance has to get to it and fix it. So we come up here. Then we're going to have, we have lighting here, so this is actually enough, like, that's like 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. So we actually don't need any more lighting here because of these. I want to make sure you get some torches out of the way here. No torches allowed. But, I'm still going to put lamps anyway, even though we don't need them. They aren't needed. Um, let's put a lamp, let's put a lamp in here. Oh. Got to clean that out. There we go. There's a, you know what? Should we just take all this out? Let's just take all that out. There we go. That looks a lot better anyway. I think. So that takes care of that torch. And that takes care of almost all of these torches. Um, we're going to have to figure out. What, well, that puts out light too, doesn't it? So if that's light. I don't know what light level that is. We're going to have to test this. We might need to put some of our hidden lighting in here. No, because that's 11, or 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Is that like 12, 11, 10, 9, 8? I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to wait for that one. All right, so then let's take up all of this stuff. And then where do we want a lamp? We want a lamp right here in the corner, or we want it on the side of the building? Hmm. Let's see how they look on the side of the building. I don't like how it touches it, though. I mean, it's a great idea, but I don't like how it touches and I don't want it higher either. All right, so testing light levels. 11, 10. Oh my gosh, maybe we don't need that. What if we go like this? No, nope. we need it at least for now. Okay. Nines, of course. 10, oh, eight. There's a seven in there. Where's that seven? Where was that seven? Hmm. I saw a 7 flash by. I don't know where it was, but does it really matter? Yeah, there it is. Right there. It's not, oh, it would be a 7, but it's a 0 block because it's path. But it would be a 7. See, watch. See? There. What is it? But that's path block. Looking at block. Because that one's an 8. That's a 10. Whatever. There's a 7 in here somewhere. Why is that the 7 next to a light? That's not right. That's bogus. Okay, what do we have up here then? Okay, this gets... Doesn't this put out light? Yeah, but... Okay, so... This here needs to be lit up. But I want... There's going to be a viewing area that comes out to here so you can look. Um, I wasn't... I wanted to keep it 
oh that's what we'll do we'll do what we do over here with the pristine lawn because this is going to be pristine lawn for the viewing area let's light it up like this a little bit because there you go it's a whole beautiful lawn thing and that should take care of everything there good because we'll work on this beacon as part of working on beacon park very nice good so that my friends is going to complete the restroom project the only project we have left I'm trying to get a screenshot here of the restroom project the only project we have left on this section of the base then is beacon hill which is right above me it's gonna be a big park that'll be i don't know if that'll be our next episode but it'll be coming up soon before episode 200 and there'll be you know I'll probably split into two episodes, but that'll be it. So this is the restrooms and then Beacon Park. And then this phase of the base is completely done in air quotes, completely done because nothing is totally done and I'll make changes, of course. So hopefully you enjoyed the episode. I certainly did. It took me several hours to make this episode, which is kind of strange, but that's okay. Hopefully I edited it down short enough to make it viewable at once and I'll catch you next time.